Happy October, everyone. I am so excited for Halloween, and most of you probably are too. Did you know that the Irish Celtics celebrated Halloween? It was their New Year's Eve. And they would dress up in scary costumes and put scary faces into pumpkins, make jack-o'-lanterns, to scare away evil spirits and demons. That's why I say trick or treat. I like to do both. But um, I want to talk to you today, too, about some animals related to Halloween. First off, vampire bats. There are truly bats that drink blood. They usually don't drink human blood. If they bite you, it's an accident. They usually like to drink blood from cows and chickens, and they are native to Latin America. So us North Americans don't really have to worry about them too much, but they will drink the blood from the cow at night. The cow usually doesn't notice. It's kind of like a bug bite because they're pretty small bats. They're about the size of mice and they cannot drink enough blood to kill the cow, so the cow doesn't really notice too much. Another thing that we might find scary, I know I do, spiders. We usually don't have to fear spiders though. The only ones in North America we really need to worry about that are poisonous to humans are the black widow, the brown recluse, and the hobo spider. So witches, Witches were hunted. Originally, they were thought to be people with supernatural powers uh, that were kind of linked to nature. So they weren't really um, feared and hunted until Christianity came along and decided that those pagans really needed to be dealt with. The vampires that look like people not the bat kind, uh, they were thought to be people who were born with deformities, people who had strange illnesses or diseases that really couldn't be explained or died of strange deaths. People who died of strange deaths were thought to have been attacked by a vampire. And lastly, toads. That common ingredient in a witch's brew cannot give you warts. You can pet them all you want and you won't get warts. You get warts from virus infected blood. So pet away at those toads because they are very important and helpful. They're like a canary in a coal mine. Canaries were used in coal mines to detect when the air was no longer safe to breathe and toads will start dying off if the environment is too polluted with toxins. So if you have toads in your area that have been dying off suddenly, you might want to look into taking better care of your environment. That's all for today. I will have some more Halloween related videos coming up soon. Enjoy your week. Like my video, share it, and subscribe please. Thank you.